On the occasion, we now take a look at how women across continents are fighting against gender stereotypes. From working as bus drivers to being CEOs or astronauts, women are breaking barriers everywhere in every field every day. Take a look at this series which celebrates women of all creeds and races making a difference with their femininity. Amy Jadassimi is a CEO in Nigeria working in the oil industry. But that was not her first choice. She studied medicine and worked in a major investment bank in London before taking over her father's oil services company in Nigeria in 2004. At 42, she is one of the brightest business women in Nigeria and one of the few to run a business in a very masculine sector, the black gold sector. She currently employs more than 1,000 Nigerian employees. Specifically, I wanted to be in a job that created something and I'm now in a job that creates infrastructure, facilities and jobs, so it's great. Every time she covers an event, video journalist Shazia Bhatti faces the threat of being harassed by men in socially conservative Pakistan. She is unfazed by these risks and wants to highlight the issues of the people. Since my childhood, I wanted to do something that would highlight the issues of the people living here. That's why I chose to become a video journalist. Amid the buzz over the movie, Black Panther production designer Hannah Beechler is in high demand in Hollywood after she created the Afro-futuristic world of Wakanda. She has also worked on last year's Oscar-winning Moonlight and several music videos for Beyonce's album Lemonade. The challenges I face as a woman in my industry, the film industry, is getting ahead and staying ahead of the pack and there's bringing more women into the industry is a challenge. Do I earn as much money as my male colleagues? No. <laughs> and that's all I have to say about that. I do not. I do not. Anne Burgas was the first female sommelier in Sweden in the 80s and had to work hard to be taken seriously as she started in the business of wine imports. She believes more mentoring and networking can uphold women in male-dominated businesses. As a child, as many of my little friends, I think um, the, our teacher, our class teacher, was our role model, our star. So I think most of us wanted to be teachers when we were small. To buy and sell wine, I don't think was an option because I didn't even know that there was a job uh, around wine. Catherine Sargent is the first female tailor on the prestigious Savile Row in London, where tailoring men's suits had bespokenly been a man's affair. You know, Savile Row collectively are employing you know, both sexes now and in all sorts of different roles, and it's great to see, but I think you know, it's something that we do have to address and keep keep evolving for the future um, and again it comes with the vision of the business and the clients of the future and, and who they would like to see in those businesses. Carolina Rodriguez is a professional Chilean boxer who became world bantamweight champion in 2013. She recently took up her training again after an absence due to the birth of her daughter. When I was a young girl, I never dreamed of becoming something. And then this opportunity came up. I had never thought about it before, never hoped for it. And here I am, a world champion and totally dedicated to sport. Shana Power, South Africa's first female amateur mixed martial arts champion, has been defying gender stereotypes in the world of combat sports for five years. As a child, when I was growing up, I was very athletic and um, I've always been... Um, sporty so I understood that the mind was as important as the body so growing up I always wanted to be a sports psychologist because I realized if you could unlock the mind and build the mind the body would be an unstoppable force. Bureau Report, we on.